Okay, so in this text completion, we want to kind of get past the verbiage, all these names, and home in on the important part. The recent publication of RM's substantial body of work. So substantial, that's important. So he's written a lot, RM. So substantial, as well as writings by fellow expressionists. Okay, so BN is an expressionist, as is RM. They're both expressionists. So what's going on here? They blank. AG's assertion that expressionism was reluctant. So what are they doing here? Well, reluctant to what? So you can say either that they support assertion that the expressionists were reluctant to blank issues of artistic meaning in their work, or that they go against her assertion. And if you're not sure, remember, oh, it's a good idea to keep reading. And it says, read after work and suggest that this supposed reticence, and there we really have a clear in into the sentence, that word reticence. When you're reticent, you're tight-lipped, you're holding back. By the way, this word has come up a lot on the goosh, and that's great because it also came up on a preceding text completion. So for some reason, GRE has a predilection or is fond of this word, and maybe they'll even use it, test it. But going back to the text completion, the idea that they were supposedly read reticence. We see now that this recent publication of the substantial work, he's writing a lot, shows that they weren't tight-lipped, they weren't reticent, they were saying a lot. And so it goes against this person's assertion that they were reluctant to talk about or articulate. So we can choose either. And it goes against, that word is undermined for the first blank. So just like that, we get the first two blanks. And then finally the third blank. This supposed reticence was perhaps more artistic blank than historical fact. Well, it's some sort of falsehood. It's almost as though they're trying to come off as reticent, but in reality, they're not. So this artistic posturing. And when you posture, you try to come off a certain way, put on a, a false front. And there we have our three answers.